fellow readers. My name is Christine and welcome to or welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things book related. So today we have an unboxing and this is Twisted Retreat which is a brand new box. This is the first box that they're putting out and this is made by the people from um, over at Unplugged Book Box. They decided to come out with a darker version of their book box so if you are into things that are a little on the creepier side like I am this is going to be the box for us I do want to let you know that they sent me an email right before I got this box to let me know that there is an item missing from here um, some of the people got their item and some didn't but they will be sending it to us those that have it missing in December and it is a pair of bookends so I'm completely okay with that I'm fine with waiting <clears throat> I just want to let you know that there's something missing in this box and I will be getting it later. So let's open it up. I got this and it's like, look at this. It's like all ripped. They really threw my box around. Look at that. <laughs> Fail. All right. So <laughs> I went to open that up and everything fell out. So Let's just take a look at what's inside. I'm going to grab the very first box I see, which is this right here. It does look like a candle sized box, but let's see. I'll show it to you first. So it's kind of, oh, this says Pennywise the Dancing Clown. So this is, <laughs> This says, Twisted Retreat, We All Float Down Here, which is, of course, from Stephen King's It. I can't really, I think this is an unscented candle. Otherwise, it is a very lightly scented candle. And this does look very similar to a candle that I got recently from Unplugged Book Box. I mean, it's completely different, um, but it's the same size and has the lid and everything. So that is our first item. I just realized that I am going to need some scissors, so let me go grab that. Okay, so the next item we have is in this box here. What do we have? Oh, I'm unsure what this is, so let me take a look at this second. It says, <sighs> Whenever feasible, one should always try to eat the rude. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Look at that. So it's almost like a little, I think, cheese board type thing or something to cut cheese or to have hors d'oeuvres. And, oh, I was going to say I don't know what this is from, but I am reading a book right now called A Certain Kind of Hunger that this would fit, but it totally has a Hannibal Lecter mask on the front. That's awesome. Love that. All right, we're on a pretty good roll here. What else do we have? We have something that looks like a notebook, a decomposition notebook from Twisted Retreat that has this beautiful moth and flowers with skulls on it. And the back says, we mourn the blossoms of May because they are to wither, but we know that May is to one day have its revenge upon November. By the revolution of the solemn circle, which never stops, which teaches us in our, in our height of hope ever to be sober, and in the depths of desolation, never to despair. I don't know what that's from. I'm going to guess it's maybe Edgar Allan Poe. I'm sure I will find out very soon and feel either really smart or really dumb about that. Next up, we have this print here. And there is a long, oh, it looks like a letter from the author. So I'm not going to read that because it is quite lengthy there. And then we have Twisted Retreat Good Guys Shower Gel Elixir, which I'm pretty sure is uh, from Child's Play. Is that, they're called Good Guys. I'm like 90% sure. And it looks kind of bloody. 
Let's see if I could open it up and smell. Ooh, that smells good. I'm not sure because it mostly smells clean, but that smells really good actually. So that is fun. What else do we have? Okay, we're almost down to the book. I see, oh yeah, Fable Grounds Coffee Poison Apple Flavored Coffee. I love coffee. I will definitely be giving this a try. I feel like I've had something from Fable Grounds before, but I can't remember specifically what it was. So it might've been tea actually. So I'm excited to try that. We have a Twisted Retreat. Oh, I wonder if this is almost like a collectible card set. I wonder if they'll have this in every box. I'm not sure what this says. Pennywise the Dancing Clown. We have a couple bookmarks here. We got some skulls on that side. And here is the other side. We also have American Psycho with a Southern Gothic twist. Despite its ghosts and hauntings, this evocative tale presents an all too real tale, ugh, an all too real terror that gets under your skin and stays. And this looks, I don't know if this is the book that we're getting right now. Uh, it says River of Wrath and River of Ashes. So maybe this is, I'm not sure if this is the book that we're getting or just a promo for another book. Oh yeah, it is the book that we're getting. We have River, ah! <laughs> I just spilled the, spilled the packing peanuts all over the floor. So let me open this up so we could take a look at this. This is River of Ashes by Ex Alexandria Weiss and Lucas Astor. I have never heard of this, so this is interesting. Oh, look at that. Love the edges there. That's very pretty. Okay. You know I love a naked, good looking naked book. That is very pretty. And on the back it says, some truths are better kept secret, some secrets are better off dead. On the back, and also it has a reversible, reversible dust cover, which is like a woman in a, some kind of shroud in between two buildings, but when you look at it from further away, it does look like a skull. So that's very cool. All right, so let's check out the synopsis of this book here. And it does say it is St. Benedict Book One. So there must be, this must be the start of a series or a duology, I'm not sure. It says along the banks of the, <laughs> it says along the banks of the Falaya River sits an abandoned St. Francis Seminary. Beneath the canopy of oaks, blocked from prying eyes, the teens of St. Benedict High gather here on Fridays. The rest of the week belongs to school and family, but weekends belong to the river, and the river belongs to Beau Devereux. I'm sure I'm saying that not right, but bear with me. The only child of a powerful family, Beau can do no wrong. Star quarterback, handsome, charming, the Prince of St. Benedict is the ultimate catch. He's also a psychopath. A dirty family secret buried for years, Beau's evil grows unchecked. In the shadows of the haunted abbey, he commits unspeakable acts on his victims and ensures their silence with threats and intimidation. Senior year, Beau sets his sights on his girlfriend's headstrong twin sister, Leslie, who hates him. Everything he wants but cannot have, she will be his ultimate prize. Of course, you can't just be happy. You gotta have the twin sister. The victim toll mounts and it becomes clear that someone must stop Beau Devereaux and someone will pay with their life. So that sounds pretty interesting. I will have to give this one a go. It does sound like it's probably YA since they're in high school, which I don't, I don't read a ton of YA, but it really just depends on, I mean, there could be YA that's very well written and the characters are very well rounded. And sometimes there's adult books that I feel like don't really live up to that. So we'll see how this goes. And then of course, I would have gotten the set of um, bookends. So what do you think about the Twisted Retreat box? I love it. I love uh, the unplugged book boxes that they put together. So I like that this is on the darker side. So it's probably gonna be 
more books like this as opposed to fantasy books, which is usually what we see, not always, but usually what we see in the unplugged adult book box. But I am very happy with this. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching and stay spooky.